Morning po, our devotion for today can be read at Ephesians 5 verse 1. Therefore be imitators of God as beloved children. A few days ago, we from the singles had read the passage of 2 Timothy chapter 1 verses 3 to 8 for our devotion. We consider how Paul was an example to Timothy that in spite of being in prison for doing what is right, Paul still had a positive attitude as he continued to pray to God for Timothy and the other believers. It was also stated that Paul encouraged Timothy to use his gifts to be brave and to share the gospel. So we've seen there the life of Paul and how he devoted himself for others because of his faith to God. Uh, we can see that in his action of praying, in his act of encouraging, in his act of loving, and his act of sharing the gospel. Was all of those from Paul alone, or are we to say, let us imitate Paul for he is good? No, Paul said, imitate me just as I also imitate Christ. I believe, though not mentioned like Paul did, it is also the same with the other disciples if we are to put them on a pedestal. Paul, like the other disciples, were simply imitating God in their holiness in 1 Peter 1.16. For it is written, Be holy because I am holy. In their speech, in their virtues, in their passion, in 1 John 4, 7 and 8, love for God is love. In what they love, in John 13, 35. But uh, by this, all people we know, the term my disciples, if you have love for one another. Uh, in their action, in their reaction towards others, in the circumstances that they are in. All of which are mirrored from our God the Father and our Lord Jesus Christ. There is no greater calling or higher calling than of imitating God. In other translation of the Bible, the word used here is to follow, but on the original text, it is where the word mimic originated. Ang Tagalog po ng mimic, gayahin, hindi simpleng sundan lang, uh, gayahin sa panalita, gayahin sa kilos, gayahin sa pag-uugali. In that way, if others were to look at us, sino po ang makikita ginagaya natin? It is none other but our God. And as beloved children, most of us born into this world resembles our parents in a lot of ways. In how we look, how we speak, in how we act, how we see things, and also how we decide. All of which have taken inspiration from our parents. And it's also the same Paul with our Heavenly Father, as we are now born into the family of God. In the book of Genesis, we can see there that Adam was created according to the likeness of God. We all know that God is spirit. So the likeness there, or the image there, is not the physical state, but in the moral state. We can see the resemblance of our parents to us by simply comparing us to others, or comparing us to them. But is it the same with their morals? This is where the term, the apple falling from the tree, came from. How are we doing with our daily walk in this life? Can others see that we are God's fruit? And as, the, and as quoted from Stephen Lawson, The more we imitate God, the more we glorify God. The more we imitate God, the more people know whose child we are. As Christians, let us all be imitators of God, for He is now our Father. May God be seen in our daily walk our daily devotion, our holiness, our love for others, our actions and reactions towards others in the circumstances that we're in. Because if not, then whose image are we imitating and whose children are we? Let us pray. Our gracious and loving Heavenly Father, we thank you, Father, for your word that had reminded us on uh, whose image we are to imitate. Thank you, Father, for your love for us that uh, by giving your Son, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, to die on the cross, uh, we are cleansed. Thank you, Father, for this expression of your love for us. And I pray that uh, we remember Jesus Christ so that we may imitate his life here on earth. Guide us, Father, protect and preserve our health. We give all the praises and glory turning. In Jesus' name, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen. Amen.